could be a Ponzi scheme. I like the word moon. You believe my ownership in coin just bought me this beautiful Rolls Royce? Get yours now. I believe that it's going to be, you know, an, another cryptocurrency that's going to be just as large as Bitcoin someday. It, it, Okay. Everyone, in Ponzi, 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 it's early. If it is a Ponzi, get in on the ground floor. There's so many people who said that this was going to be a coin artist game, that this was going to be a scammer game. Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am currently nearing the end of my pregnancy and today I wanted to make a more lighthearted video because lately it's been a lot of deep dives, a lot of research, and I thought I would just kind of sit back and make a video for fun or have a little fun and hopefully it's fun to watch as well. As you can see, I'm kind of playing around with the lighting and setup. First time using the green screen, so let's hope that I'm able to make it work and it looks okay. And let me know what you think if you like it. And today in this video, we are talking about cryptocurrency or more importantly, ridiculous cryptocurrency scams that have just taken things way too far, especially influencers who have promoted ridiculous cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrency has become a really fascinating landscape. In the past year, it has just boomed in popularity and hype. Everyone's getting cryptocurrency and there are a lot of seemingly positive things about cryptocurrency as well as some drawbacks. And there are some people who really love cryptocurrency and see it as the future. One of those people is longtime friend of the channel Mercedes who actually made this hat and she has an Etsy store so I'll link her store down below. It says crypto and coffee and I think there are some valid arguments to the good parts of cryptocurrency as well as some of the drawbacks but that's a whole deep dive topic for another day. We're not going to do that today. We're talking about obvious blatant scams and ridiculous influencers promoting ridiculous cryptocurrencies. I feel like there's always this trend where something booms in popularity, especially something in the financial world. And then very, very shortly after, the floodgates of scams are unleashed and all of the scams come out, banking off of that new hype or the new thing. And it seems like over the last few years, crypto scams have been pretty prevalent just because it's such a new thing that's really exploding. Not a lot of people know about it, but they're interested in it. So basically the scammers are like, this is the new opportunity. One of the most infamous cryptocurrency scams, or at least the one that comes to mind whenever I think of crypto scams, because I love it so much, is BitConnect. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, 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 BitConnect? Wow, was that an amazing moment in history, even though it's actually very sad because everyone involved with BitConnect lost a whole crap ton of money. I am right now independently, financially independently. I am saying to so many people who said that this was going to be a con artist game, that this was going to be a scammer game. Hey, you're going to lose all your money. My wife still doesn't believe in me. And now people are realizing that social media is a pretty good avenue to market your cryptocurrency. And for some reason, over the last few months especially, all of the influencers, all of the, how do I say, easily bought influencers have been marketing cryptocurrencies like crazy. Influencers in their endless wisdom and morality decided it was probably a good idea to hitch a ride on the new wave of cryptocurrency and market different coins to their young and impressionable audience because that's definitely a good idea and not something they could possibly get in serious trouble for. Right to jail. Like when Jake Paul is marketing a cryptocurrency, I think we know things have gone too far. It literally feels like almost every day there's some new sort of cryptocurrency and some new influencer or celebrity promoting this cryptocurrency. And the way that these influencers often promote these cryptocurrencies is the most annoying thing about it all because they're kind of capitalizing off of FOMO. The way that they talk about it is like, this is the newest, biggest, next thing. This is the new Bitcoin. You have to buy in now. You 
you have to get in on this. We're all gonna get rich so quickly. They get everybody hyped up and also scared that they're gonna miss out on this next big thing. So then a ton of people invest into this coin only for it to just plummet in price the next day. Or at the very least, not make it to the moon. And I know there's a saying, shoot for the moon and land among the stars, but when it comes to investing, I don't think... I don't think that's a solid investing strategy. Now, I am not an investing expert and I'm not going to claim to be in this video or give any advice on how you should or shouldn't spend your money because no, but I have looked into a lot regarding MLMs, Ponzi schemes and pyramid schemes. And well, what influencers are doing is a strategy that is not new in this whole scammery landscape. Ooh, I get out of breath so easily being pregnant. This strategy is called pump and dump. And pump and dump schemes are often compared to Ponzi schemes for their similarities, mainly because it's a get rich quick scheme but only works for those at the very top, the people that got in initially at ground zero. And in order for you to actually get rich off of these schemes, someone down the line has to pay a higher price than you did in order for you to get rich. What does that sound like? A pyramid scheme. So in pump and dump schemes, a small amount of people usually buy a stock or in this case, a cryptocurrency at a very small price, then market the heck out of it, get whoever you can to buy into the hype of this stock or cryptocurrency. So the share price goes up a little bit higher. You were able to make a profit and then you dip and the share price plummets. Pump and dump schemes have been around for quite some time and they're nothing new. This is literally just the same old format, but taken to the internet, social media, and cryptocurrency. The weirdest thing is with some of these cryptocurrencies, it's hard to tell if the influencers are getting paid to promote the cryptocurrency because they're not disclosing all the time that their promotion of this cryptocurrency is an ad, or if they just realize by themselves with their big brains that if they get all of their audience to buy a cryptocurrency that they've already bought into, that they can capitalize off of that cryptocurrency fairly quickly. Literally monetizing your audience through scamming them, through getting them to buy into something by convincing them it's gonna make them rich. Meanwhile, it only makes you richer. Great, great stuff, great stuff. The the morality of all of this is just awesome. So yeah, it's really hard to tell if influencers are promoting these coins on their own or if they're getting paid to. For example, well-known financial strategist and stock market expert Tana Mo Mojo Mon yeah, made her social media post promoting a cryptocurrency with the hashtag ad. So we can probably assume she got paid to promote this cryptocurrency. The post reads, me earning money by the pool because cryptocurrency, because investing in the stock market is really that simple. You just sit by the pool, push some random numbers and boom, you're rich. Get, <laughs> get titscoin at titscoin.io not even that you couldn't even get the dot com, but okay. And join me in raising awareness for breast cancer. Swipe right and get yours now. Hashtag ad. You believe my ownership in Titscoin just bought me this beautiful Rolls Royce? Get yours now. And then others such as Jake Paul and Keemstar seem to be posting about cryptocurrencies, but not with the hashtag ad from what I've seen. So it's hard to tell if they're getting paid to promote these cryptos or not. So let's briefly examine some of these questionable crypto promotions. Everyone needs hashtag safe moon or this will be you by Jake Paul. Who follows Jake Paul? I forget, like someone someone really close to Jake Paul talked about what age demographic his audience is. I forget who it is. Who is your audience? Who do you make your videos for? Yeah, my audience is uh, is definitely younger. It's like eight years old to like 16 years old. And so that's where I try to like cater the, the content mm -hmm. towards. And he's promoting cryptocurrency to that audience by basically saying you need to invest or you'll be sad. To kids, you're telling kids this information. Keemstar, check your hashtag safe moon right now. The price is going through the dang roof. Bro, we're rich. 
I mean, I'm sure you are a Kim star, but the people that got in later, probably not as much. Even Kim Kardashian promoted a cryptocurrency. She says, are you guys into crypto? This is not financial advice, but sharing what my friends just told me about the Ethereum Max token, which is apparently also a token that Floyd Mayweather promoted during the Bitcoin 2021 conference and was booed off of the stage. So that's great. I believe that it's gonna be, you know, an another cryptocurrency that's gonna be just as large as Bitcoin someday. It's, it's, it's okay. A few minutes ago, Ethereum Max burned 400 trillion tokens, literally 50% of their admin wallet, giving back to the entire Emacs community. Like what? I'm just imagining people that follow Kim Kardashian for the fashion, for the what? what? photos i don't I actually don't know why people follow kim kardashian but the people that follow their instagram just getting this ad i don't know if kim kardashian's demographic the people that follow her on instagram are super super into crypto as well but you know and that's what concerns me is a lot of these cryptocurrencies are going after influencers who most likely don't have an audience that's financially literate or is super educated in things like crypto and investing and all of that. One of the weirdest ones to me is that the D'Amelio family, Charlie D'Amelio and Dixie D'Amelio promoted a cryptocurrency. So I'm pretty sure Charlie D'Amelio is not over the age of 18. So someone who isn't even legally an adult yet is promoting that people invest in cryptocurrency? It's from the D'Amelio family official family Instagram account. And the post reads, we are learning more about cryptocurrency as a family. Thank you at Gemini for Charlie's birthday gift because apparently Charlie D'Amelio wanted cryptocurrency for her birthday? Hashtag Gemini partner. Even though Gemini has a requirement of ages 18 or older and other really young influencers or influencers with a really obviously young audience have been promoting cryptocurrency. Lauren promoted cryptocurrency. I guess even Rice Gum and Summer Ray have been promoting cryptocurrency. Matt James from The Bachelor partnered with BlockFi, a cryptocurrency platform. Lil Yachty promoted SafeMoon. I think Dave Portnoy even promoted safe moon was it the answer is safe moon safe moon is now in the dave portnoy business and vice versa why i don't know fucking why it could be a ponzi scheme i like the word moon because that's where i want to go everyone ponzi 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 it's early if it is a ponzi get in on the ground floor and the weirdest thing is that the cryptocurrency that FaZe, Ricegum, and Summer Rae are promoting is called Save the Kids, the cryptocurrency. And you know that a lot of their audience is children. Why? Why are cryptocurrencies being promoted to children like this? When you look up how to invest in cryptocurrency, the first result that comes up is how to invest in crypto if you're under 18. And there's literally tons of YouTube videos instructing minors under the age of 18 how to buy cryptocurrency as a minor. And I'm not gonna go too much into what they suggest minors do if they're under the age of 18 to get around that so they can still invest in cryptocurrency. Just in case there are minors watching this video right now, I don't wanna give anyone any ideas because it is such a bad idea. It's honestly sort of disgusting to me that all of these influencers are promoting this to their young audience. Meanwhile, potentially hundreds, if not thousands of children are getting screwed over by these crypto scams because they don't know what it is. They're not financially literate yet. And literally children could be losing money off of this. What the heck? How is this allowed? How is this allowed right now? 
Oh my gosh, just think about it. Charlie D'Amelio and the D'Amelio family was not promoting cryptocurrency so that their adult audience who's already knows how to invest can go invest in a new coin. That's not what's going on here. These cryptocurrencies know exactly who they're targeting. Literally, they're targeting children. And this needs to be stopped. It needs to stop. I'm done. I'm over it already. No, like genuinely livid, genuinely so upset about the fact that this is going on. I was hoping people were better than this, but I guess not. And the worst part about this whole thing is that even the legitimate aspects of cryptocurrency are now being given a bad image or all seen as a scam. It seemed like cryptocurrency had some potential to be something really, really cool. And all of these scams and influencers promoting these blatant scams are ruining the image of cryptocurrency and making it all look bad. Now it's making it hard to know who to trust when it comes to cryptocurrency and how to differentiate between what's a scam and what's not. In my opinion, all of this should be illegal illegal right to jail right away because who is naive enough to take investing advice from Tana Mojo? Who is naive enough to actually trust any financial advice that Tana Mojo would have to say? children a child i'll be linking a few things below please 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 if you see any crypto scams or crypto fraud please report it to the ftc i'll have the report page linked down below and i'll also be linking below a report that the ftc did on crypto scams i highly recommend reading it it has a lot more information on how to beware and watch out for crypto scams and that's all i got for today i got kind of heated at the end but like wow why? And um, I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Uh, yeah, what a world we live in. Uh, if you made it to the end, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.